cool. <laughs> Leopold. Hi, Leopold. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. So, Claire, what story are you going to read to us today? Today we're reading The Bremen Town Musicians. It's a grim fairy tale. Awesome! Once there was an old donkey who, having recently been let go from his job carrying grain to a mill, headed for the town of Bremen to become a town musician instead. On his way, he came across a hunting dog in the middle of the road, panting as if he'd run a mile too many. Hey, uh, why are you panting so hard, old Weezer? The donkey asked. <laughs> oh, me? said the dog. It's because I'm old and getting weaker by the day. Since I can no longer hunt, my master was planning to do me in. <gasps> Daddled. But how on earth can I earn my daily bread now? You know what? said the donkey. Same happened to me, so I'm on my way to Bremen to become a town musician. Come along and make some music with me. The dog liked the idea and they walked along together. <laughs> She had a look on her face that was sad as a month of rainy Sundays. Hmm. Hey, what's rubbed you the wrong way, Whisker Washer? asked the donkey. How could I be amused when I've had it up to here? Now that I'm getting old, my teeth aren't sharp anymore, and I prefer sitting behind the warm stove and dreaming up schemes to actually chasing mice. And guess what? My mistress tried to drown me. <gasps> Thankfully, I managed to run away. Advice doesn't come cheap, but still I ask, where on earth do I go now? Oh, take that cat to Bremen! Come with us to Bremen, said the donkey. You can make a little night music, can't you? Soon, the refugees came upon a farm where a rooster was sitting on the gate, crowing his lungs out. Well, hey, hang on, hang on a sec, sorry to interrupt. Claire, mm -hmm. what's a refugee? Is that like some kind of musician? No, a refugee is a person leaving their home to escape war, natural disaster, mm. or intentional drowning due to poor mice catching abilities. Oh, <laughs> well, what did the donkey say to the rooster? Your scream is getting under my skin, right into my bones, exclaimed the donkey. <laughs> what in the world are you up to? All I was doing was predicting good weather. But tomorrow the guests are coming for Sunday lunch, and the mistress told the cook she wants me in the soup. So now I'm screaming for all it's worth, as long as I still can. Know what, redhead, said the donkey. Why don't you come with us? We're off to Bremen. I mean, you're sure to find something better than death no matter where you go. But you have a good voice, and I bet if we make music together, it'll be very... <laughs> memorable. The rooster liked the suggestion, and the wayfarers went on together. At last, they stood in front of a brightly lit robber's den. The donkey looked inside. What do you see, donkey? asked the rooster. What do I see? replied the donkey. A table decked out with food and drink and hairy bandits seated around it having a grand old time. Wow. Oh, that'd be perfect for us, mused the rooster. Yeah, if only we were inside, said the donkey. So the animals thought of a plan to drive the robbers out. The donkey propped his legs on the windowsill. The dog leapt up onto the donkey's back. The cat clawed her way up onto the dog. And finally, the rooster flew up to the tippy top and sat on the cat's head. And then they began their music. Then <laughs> all at once, they crashed through the window into the robber's den, shattering the window panes. The robbers jumped up in wild alarm at this cacophony and fled into the woods. Uh, c cacophony what now? 
I got this one. So, Leopold, a cacophony is kind of a random mixture of sounds that don't really make sense together. Like what I just played. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a cacophony. From then on, the robbers dared not go near the house. The four Bremen town musicians, however, had such a marvelous old time that they decided never to leave. I'm so glad you liked it. Oh, and um, the music was so awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Leopold. Marilyn, what, what kind of instrument is that you're playing? It kind of looks like a gigantic violin. <laughs> it does look like a violin, because it's part of the same family, the string family. Oh. But my instrument is actually called a cello. Oh. Can you say cello? Yeah, cello. Yeah, it rhymes with one of my favorite foods. Oh, jello! Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. All the instruments in the string family are made out of wood and have strings on them. Yeah, I can see there's four strings right on the top. Four <laughs> strings, yeah. And so we make those strings vibrate and then it vibrates into the wood. And we can either make the strings vibrate by plucking the strings with our fingers. And that's called pizzicato. Pizzicato, mm -hmm. it's fancy. <laughs> <laughs> or we can use this right here, it's called a bow. Huh. And the bow is also made out of wood, but then it has this other stuff on it. I don't know if you can tell what it is. Can you guess, Leopold? Do you know what this stuff is on my bow? Well, it kind of looks like yarn or string or something. Yeah, you're right, but it's actually hair. I gave myself a little haircut and I... Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's hair. Really? <laughs> it's hair from a horse's tail. What? Yeah. A horse's tail? Uh-huh. And we put it on, on this stick called the bow, and then we put this sappy stuff on the hair that makes it really sticky. It's called rosin. Uh -huh. And then that way, when I put my bow on the string, it makes it vibrate. Oh. It sounds so beautiful when you play. I feel like when I play my cello, it can take me to different places, and it can make me feel all kinds of different things. And I can express myself without even using words. It's just like magic. I agree. Leopold, can I play another piece of magic for you? Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. 